Bob Dylan once said of uh, Johnny Cash, he said, you know, he, he referred to him as the North Star. And when I think about John Siegenthaler, he was always the North Star to me around here. Every time I would make a career move or anything that I wanted to do in my life that, that took a little different turn, to go down a different trail, I found myself in the presence of John. And I know half the time he didn't know what I was talking about, but there was just something about John just here as a, as a sounding board and as that presence and that world-class entity that uh, he always let me talk my, my own self down my own roads and give my own self my own answers, and he would gently bring it along. And he was such a wonderful presence. Uh, Nashville is such a unique place. You know, it's a star-making town. And every Monday morning, it seems like we make a new star around here. The word legend gets thrown around a lot in Nashville. Icon, those kind of things. And those are, those are not terms that are in short supply. But the term statesman, you don't hear that much these days. Period. Not just in Nashville, but period. A man that was born to be a statesman, called to be a statesman, lived his life as a statesman. And to leave so much behind. The old proverb about when a man passes away, a library burns to the ground. Well, so it is with Mr. Siegenthaler. However, John left such a wonderful library for all of us to feast on for the rest of our life. He was a wonderful statesman. He was my friend. I loved him very much. And Connie and I send our deepest love to Dolores and the boys and the grandkids, the Siegenthalers.